comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. We're in Kodiak, Alaska. We're heading to Spruce Island. Uh, this is a pilgrimage to St. Herman. St. Herman is, a, is the first saint in North America. There's a small story of St. Innocent, who is another saint that's been, he's been a bishop here. One time he came over, he, he was trying to land right here in Kodiak. The weather was so bad they couldn't land for, for, I don't know, something along the lines of three days. And he said, Father Herman, if you found favor in God's eyes, please let the weather stop and the weather stopped and they landed right there. And so every year, people from all over the world come to, to venerate St. Herman, we'll make a trip out to Spruce Island, and hopefully we can get through this fog bank. So, <laughs> so maybe we'll have to pray. I tried coming last year, but uh... The miracle didn't happen for me and uh, Father Herman actually put the fog <laughs> in the bay and our flight couldn't land so I got rerouted but um, this year I have a special occasion. I have embroidered an icon and I'm taking it on a, my own pilgrimage through Saint places in Alaska. Orthodox Christianity is you could say it is part of the blood here in, in Alaska. It's been here for a couple of hundred years, but the people, many people, native people have embraced it. And so it runs deep here in Kodiak Island. If you go into interior Alaska, you know, it's, it's the same thing. It's very much in the blood of Alaska. The Orthodox community is very welcoming and very open, especially here in Alaska. There seems to be um, less dogmatic restrictions, if I may say so, versus in Ukraine or Russia, that's where I come from. It's very strict in terms of following the religious orders, in terms of behaviors and everything else. So I think coming to Alaska and starting living in Alaska made me even more closer or brought me closer to the church. and my religion, so to speak, so I, I really appreciate it. We come here as pilgrims to receive the grace of one who was himself a pilgrim. Pilgrimage is normally used to refer to a journey to a holy place such as this. But a pilgrimage is also an inward journey. St. Herman was a pilgrim who traveled from Russia to the New World but he traveled there before there were any holy sites to visit in that new world. That is, he was traveling as part of his inner pilgrimage. I've been in Alaska 13 years now. It always draws you back, no matter how often you try to leave. I think Alaska in general gives people a moment to think about their life when they see the grandeur of everything of nature here when they come to visit. But going on a pilgrimage also makes it so much more intense. 